I think now Charles Jacobs has done the trick again. And we have the list of the final seven. Thank you very much. And here they are. The last seven in Miss World 1963. Miss Denmark. Miss Finland. Miss France. Miss Jamaica. Miss New Zealand. Miss Sweden. And last of the seven in alphabetical order, Miss United Kingdom. And now, this is where the place warms up to help in the judgment of personality. I'm going to talk in turn to each of these girls and you can help, you can make up your own minds at home. And first of all, I'm going to talk to Miss Denmark. <laughs> Miss Denmark, a great many people are looking at you at this moment. Welcome to Great Britain. Tell Thank us all you about yourself. My name is Aino Kova, and I'll be 21 in next month. And uh, uh, I used to work in Copenhagen as secretary, but for the time being, I live in New York, where I work as a model. I think also you do some television over there. Yes, I do. I'm a hostess uh, on a program which is called Say When. And I like it very much. <laughs> What made you uh, want to become a beauty queen? How did you get here as Miss Denmark? Well, actually, I didn't know anything about it myself. My fiancé submitted a picture of me for the contest, and um, he hoped that I was among the eight finalists, because then he would receive some money. A surprise. <laughs> and <laughs> and, uh, he would receive some money? Yes, he, and he did receive the money, but uh, I really think that he regretted very much what he was doing because um, I had so much traveling to do, being Miss Denmark. Didn't of course, I was extremely happy because I loved traveling. Did he not give you the money? Oh, no, he didn't. But he saving it up for the marriage. <laughs> 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 Miss Denmark, we wish you both very much happiness. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Miss Finland. And Miss Finland's name is? Maria Lisa Stolberg, and I come from Helsinki. Very nicely said, and I have to speak a little slowly, yes? Tell me about your work and your family. Oh, I'm working in a bank in public relations office there, and it's very interesting, <laughs> like press job. And my family, it belongs only my mother and me. Now, Miss Finland last year was runner-up in this contest. I suppose you're hoping to do uh, certainly as well and perhaps a little bit better. Well, I'll try. What is your ambition in life? Oh, I want to be, be better in my peer job. That's my ambition. Have you, like uh, Miss Denmark, uh, are you engaged? Have you a fiancé? No, I'm not engaged. Would you say, uh, you seem to be very serious about your work, would you say that work was more important than uh, marriage? Marriage is important. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Finland. Thank you. Miss Jamaica. I beg your pardon, Miss France. Sorry. Miss <laughs> France, are you going to say a little for us? A pretty fur in yes, English? If, if you speak slowly, yes, I can. You tell us understand. about yourself. Whatever uh, you name. like to say. My name is Ingrid Fabrice, and I am a teacher of mathematics in France. Is this your first time in London? Yes, it's the first time I come here. How do you like our country? In your country, what I like, 
Archie only London that I got. You like London? Yes. What will you do if you win the money? I don't know, but uh, I think every time I want uh, a shock with my feet. A shock? Yes. What it's kind of shock? Uh, for dress. For oh, dresses. Dress, dress shock. Dress, yes. Thank you, Miss France. Thank you. Miss Jamaica. Miss Jamaica, you seem to have some supporters here tonight. Yes. If I may say, sir, that's a very striking swimsuit. Is that the latest rage in the Caribbean? No, it isn't. I got it in Miami. Now, tell us about your country, Jamaica, with those lovely beaches and this hot sun. Now, come on, let's get excited about Jamaica. We have lovely white sand beaches and beautiful mountains. And if you do come there, I'd be glad to take you around. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> When, uh, when Jamaica recently was declared independent, you played quite a big part, I believe, in the ceremonial. That's right, I did. I attended all the functions and parties given for important people. Now tell us about yourself. Well, I am 20 and I help my father in his office and now and again I model if I get the chance to. I must ask you this, following on the West Indies cricket tour with Sir Leary looking over my shoulder. Were you very excited when the West Indies won the last series here? Yes, I was. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you meet them when they went back home yes, to I Kingston? Did. Yes. Who did you meet there? Well, I met Sobers. You, and Gary Sobers? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Besides Warrell and uh -huh. all of them. Uh -huh. Well, there you are, Salir. There's another good player here. Thank you very much, Miss Jamaica. <laughs> Miss New Zealand. <laughs> Miss Elaine Miskell. And welcome to Miss New Zealand. Elaine, what would you like to say to everybody? Well, I think I'll tell them a little about where I come from and what I do. I come from Wellington in New Zealand. That's the bottom half of the North Island. I live there with my parents and younger brother, who's 15. I am a fashion model, and I'm very thrilled to be here tonight. I've been told that you are a very good athlete. Well, I was when I was at college, but unfortunately, I don't have very much time for that now. You were a sprinter and a hurdler? I was, yes. What sort of times did you do down the 100 yards and over the hurdles? <laughs> well, I don't really uh, know. I don't remember the times, but I was the athletic champion of my college. But unfortunately, as things turn out, uh, other things take the place of sport. Well, other things for you include, I believe, um, singing. Is this not right in a dance band? Well, yes, I do. A Tell us singing. about that. Well, there's not very much to tell, really. Uh, I haven't got a very good voice, but, well, they seem to employ me occasionally to sing to people at home. And have you been following the All Blacks rugby tour here? Well, I have, but I heard, unfortunately, that they lost here. Only on once, though. They'll be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. I'm hoping to meet them. Thank you, Miss New Zealand. Miss Sweden. <laughs> Hello, Miss Sweden. Hello. Welcome to London. Thank you very much. And the microphone is all yours. What would you like to say? Uh, oh, I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your home. You uh, weren't born in Sweden, were you? No, I'm born in Oslo, but I live in Stockholm. I'm 19 years old, and I work as a model in Sweden and Paris. Um, I speak very bad English. You're doing all right. Yeah. Don't worry. You're a dancing I think you love that oh yes I love to dance and I love to uh, travel yes Paris. what sort of dancing do you like oh, just you know <laughs> <laughs> now um, the Beatles you know the Beatles they yes. had a triumphant tour of Sweden I believe you arrived at London Airport but they yes. were coming in too tell yes. us all about that oh, I don't like the hairstyle the Beatles have now steady on long. now be careful <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it <laughs> But they're that tremendous, you know. Yeah, that tremendous time. Yes, I know. Many girls like it, but too long. <laughs> ah, well, somebody hasn't gone bingo on Ringo. Never mind. Thank you, Miss Sweden. Thank you. And lastly, Miss United Kingdom. <laughs> and plenty of support for you, Diane Westbury from Ilkeston, Derbyshire. Now, a lot of folks back home in Ilkeston are looking at you now, Diane. What would you like to say to them? I certainly hope they're all watching, as I'm so thrilled to be in the last cabin. It's wonderful. Well, I'd just like to say a very good evening to you all, and my family, of course. 
You're very superstitious, I believe. Uh, you're worried by the fact that you're the 13th Miss United Kingdom in the 13th Miss World Contest. Oh, yes, I am. Very worried. See, I'm carrying my charm now. <laughs> you always carry it? Yes. Diane, uh, you've traveled a great deal. Do you enjoy this? I do very much, yes. Is this the best thing about being a beauty queen? Well, I think it is, yes, because you get to so many places. It's wonderful. You had a big success in the States recently. Oh, yes, yes, that was wonderful. Well, go too. on, tell us. <laughs> oh, well, I was also Miss Britain this year, and I was second <laughs> in the Miss International. Diane, what about these chaperones, these interpreters? I think everybody's interested. Are they uh, just interpreters, or are they sort of half there to guard all the girls from anything that might happen as well? Well, I think really a bit of both, but they're very nice girls, all of them. They're wonderful. They really do help you an awful lot. And a lot of people suspect that there's a lot of green eye and tearing of hair amongst the girls. Would you say that amongst this year's lot? Oh, definitely not. No, they're wonderful girls. Well, there you are. I couldn't say fairer than that. Thank you very much, Mr. United Thank Kingdom. You.